you know, here we are, Democratic, uh, uh, Democrat Chris Mays, she did defeat Republican Abe Hamaday to become attorney general in one of the closest races in state history. Mays' 511 vote lead heading into the recount narrowed to about 280 votes after all 2.5 million ballots were counted again. Now, the recounts also confirmed that Republican Tom Horn defeated Democrat incumbent Kathy Hoffman. In a legis and in a legislative race, Liz Harris defeated fellow Republican Julie Willoughby by 270 votes in District 13. That district covers parts of Chandler and Gilbert. A Maricopa County judge announced the results this morning during a court hearing a few hours later. Mays held a press conference where she essentially gave another victory speech and had a little fun joking about a potential new nickname. There is no doubt whatsoever that this was a nail biter of, of a race. I don't know, maybe they'll end up calling me landslide maze. We'll see. Um, but, uh, and it was close at 511. It ended up being close with a 280 uh, margin. Um, but, you know, look, that's what recounts are for, you know. In response, Hamaday released a statement where he didn't appear ready to concede. It reads in part, we will continue to fight this and owe it to the voters in Arizona to look at every single angle until we restore trust in our election system. Now, the recount really was done in the nick of time here. All the statewide elected officials, including Mays, will be sworn in next week. Oh, it's kind of maddening to see, like, could this really appeal, perpetuate for years to come? Okay, so you talked about the outcome not changing, mm -hmm. but the vote count did. Where do you break down the differences well, there? Well, we saw the biggest uh, vote count changes in Pinnell County, and Pinnell County says there was a simple human error involved here, although they didn't elaborate on that. Hamaday picked up an extra 290 votes, while Mays picked up an additional 115 votes in that county. Now, Pinnell County officials put out an unsigned statement late today saying part in part it is reasonable to expect some level of human error in a dynamic high stress deadline intensive process involving counting hundreds of thousands of ballots. Now you might remember there were also some problems in Pinell County during the August primary in this case. The variance fell within the state's statutory margin of error, and it didn't change the outcome of who won any of those races. All right. Meanwhile, time to swear these candidates oh. in and start the next round of, uh, you know, governing here in Arizona, right? <laughs> Wait, we got that part. Yeah. That part needs, still needs to be done. Right? Another couple of days of that. All right, <laughs> okay. Dennis, thanks very much.